Hello guys, this is Mike from McProgramming.org. Welcome to another video on sorting algorithms uh, coded in Java, but not specific to Java. And this time I'm going to go over insertion sort. This is uh, another n squared runtime algorithm just like selection sort was. It's a good algorithm to have uh, as far as small uh, sets go. So if you have a very large set, this might not be the ideal algorithm for you to use. But let me get started and show you how to code it. And then I will explain it in these comments above to the best of my ability. So here we go. The basic idea behind the insertion sort is we have this array right here, this 10, 5, uh, 3, 7, 2. And we pretend like we only have this first element and think of it, the, the common analogy is like sorting your cards. As a dealer is handing you cards, you, have, you get your first card and then they hand you the second card and you will usually put that in order and then the, they hand you another card and you will insert that in the correct order and so on. So we're going to pretty much look at our first index of the array and then we will add uh, a new one and compare those and put them in the proper spot then we'll look at the next one and insert that into the proper spot so let's get to coding so we'll make a public static void method public static well actually not void I'm sorry we're gonna return an integer array so int array as the return type and I'll just call this sort you can call it selection sort if you want and we're gonna pass in an integer array so int Make sure you have the square brackets, and I'm going to call it uh, big A, common notation for arrays. And uh, let's see, we're going to have a for loop to start off with. So we're going to say for int i equals 1. So make sure it starts at 1, not 0. And then we want it to go as far as the array.length and increment it every time pretty common for loop and now what we want to do is we want to set a key so we're going to say let's go declare it as an int int key equals a of index i all right and now what we need to do is set another variable and we're going to call this j so we're going to say int j equals i minus one so if you look up here right now I have um, I set to index 1 and J is I minus 1 so it's where this 10 is on index 0 okay now we need a little while loop while so while um, J is little J is less than or equal to 0 and so two ampersand signs and a uh, of j index is greater than the key. Okay, and inside this while loop, we need to uh, switch some things around. So we're going to have the array index i plus one or j plus one. I'm sorry, j plus one equals a of j. All right. Now we are going to decrement j by 1. All right. And then once that while loop runs, we need to do another statement and we need to set i j plus 1 equal to that key. All right. And now the last thing we need to do for the coding part at least is to return that array. So return a all right, let's run that. Make sure it works before I try to explain the wrong code. So let's call it sort numbers. And I think it was print array. We're going to pass in numbers again. Okay, so right now we started with 10, 5, 3, 7, 2. And we want to aim to get uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, 10. Let's run that. Okay, and down here we got that. So that looks good. All right, and now to explain what is going on in the background of this algorithm to make it um, a little bit easier to understand so you're not looking at all these letters, let's go through 
how it works. So, like I said, pretend that we're just looking at this 10 right now, and then we are dealt this 5 right here, and we intuitively know that 5 should go here and 10 should go there. So, let's see how we can make that happen in computer terms. So, when we run through this algorithm, we're going to say that int i equals 1. Okay, so we're going to set a key. Let's change this to key. We're going to set that equal to uh, index i in this array. So, um, that would be a 5. And then we go down here and we set j to i minus 1. So j is lined up right and i is lined up right. And we're going to say while j is greater than or equal to 0, and it's equal to 0 right now, so we can we can be in this while loop. And then the second condition is, is uh, a of j greater than this key? And in fact it is. 10 is greater than 5. So we're going to jump into this while loop, and we're going to say a j plus 1 equals a of j. All right, so we're going to take this a of j and we're going to put it in a of j plus 1 right here. So we'll put a 10 there. And then we will subtract uh, 1 from j, or decrement j. And we can't do this while loop anymore because the first condition is false because now j is negative uh, 1. So we get out of that and we go to a of j plus 1. So remember, it's j at this point is negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. So a of 0, we're going to put that key. So right here, we're going to put 5 because that's the key. Okay, and so now this has been sorted. And now we go and increment i right here. And we set the key to 3. All right, and we have to put j of equals i minus 1, so get rid of that, and what we want to do is, we don't really have a sorted part of the array yet, so I'll just get rid of that line, uh, excuse me, so while j is greater than or less or equal to 0, yes it is, it's 1, and a of j, which is a, five, a 10, sorry, I was looking at the wrong array, while that is greater than this key, which is true, we're going to put a 10 in this next index. So let's put a 10 there, and that frees up this spot. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It, it, it'll stay a 10 for right now. And then we will decrement j by 1. Okay, so now we're going to have j point at the first index, or the, the 0 index. And we're going to go through this again. Yes, j is less, or greater than or equal to 0, and is a of j greater than the key. 5 is greater than uh, 3, so now we're going to put 5 in this location. And we decrement j again. So now j is negative 1, so we're not going to jump in this loop anymore. And we're just going to say a at index j plus 1, which would be a 0 because j is negative 1 at this point. So a of 0 equals this key. So we're going to put the key 3 at a of 0. So 3. Okay, and just keep repeating that all the way through. We would get a uh, the 7, would end up uh, moving the 10 over and putting the 7 here, and then we'll do the 2, and everything will be shifted over, and we'll have a 2 in the front. So that is why it's called an insertion sort, is because you're pretty much just looking at the first value and then you start inserting each element into its proper location. So that is the insertion sort and um, if you code in a different language try to implement it in that language. It's not that hard or difficult but it is a fun little algorithm that you can mess around with and uh, you can customize it if you want. But please subscribe below and coming soon will be uh, faster sorting algorithms like the quick sort and merge sort and I'll even get into um, other ones like radix and counting sort and, and uh, as many as I can get my hands on so please join me in the next tutorial and subscribe below thank you guys for watching